Hey guys, NJ Fourth here, and this is my first regular commentary. If you don't know what I mean by that, it basically means that, well, I am not playing at the same time, so I'm not doing a live commentary. Uh, sorry, let me just turn down the volume. Sorry, it's kind of loud here. Um, so, I apologize if you can't hear me, and I know uh, you guys don't like watching from well, basically recording a, with a camera. I know you guys like an HD PVR, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't really need one right now, and, you know, I don't really... I, I, I'm kind of saving up for something else, <laughs> so... Um, plus, I've never really gotten around to getting one. Uh, but, anyway, uh, I, I kind of want to just skip to the topic of this kind of going to start out with, and that's the, well, the, uh, news that Black Ops 2 has just been announced, as of, like, I think three days ago, and, um, well, all over Facebook, uh, on Treyarch's, uh, fan page type thing, and also just over Call of Duty, they have the official, um, launch trailer, and also what they call a documentary. So, I, I don't know, I, I haven't watched a documentary. I've watched the, uh, the trailer. And, I don't know, I'm having mixed emotions about it. Uh, I don't know. See, I think it's a, it's a good, nice change for the Call of Duty franchise. I just don't know whether it's the right change. Um... See, I'm not really into the realist, or uh, sorry, the um, futuristic uh, games. Uh, but Halo is one exception. But even still, I I play Call of Duty. I don't really play Halo. Uh, this is on PS2, by the way. Um, but you know, I don't know. Like, I know it's not going to be a big change in the multi. Well, I can't say that, but it's it's still going to be Call of Duty. But it's just going to be realist, or, sorry, I keep saying realistic, futuristic. Um, but I'm not into futuristic games, you know. I like the Call of Duty franchise that it's at right now. And, um, the, well, the reason why I'm playing on Black Ops is because, you know, Black Ops 2. Uh, j just in case you're wondering why I'm not playing on MW3. Um, I, I don't know. I just... What do you guys think about it? Um, it's, it? Do you think it's going to be a good change? Do you think it's going to be a little, not really cheesy, but a little, you know, a, a little, uh, how do I say this? A, like, not, not as serious, I guess, as the other Call of Duty games. Like, it's going to be a little more, you know, silly, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of confused as to what to think about where the franchise is kind of heading. Because, like, I don't know about you, but I am not a person that really likes a whole lot of change. Like, MW2, or, well, yeah, MW2, um, they, they had kind of a different gaming engine. And that engine kind of fit the whole Call of Duty uh, franchise. Everyone kind of liked it. No one really kind of disliked it. It was kind of perfect in a way. Um, but then Black Ops came along, and you know it was just a whole different gaming engine. It was just like no one had really, I, I guess, no one really expected this to happen. I guess kind of people was, were uh, kind of expecting something different. Um, I, I, I liked, uh, the change, um, like, it's still kind of modern, like, I, I like World War II shooters, that's why I was kind of a fan of World War, of, uh, World at War, but, like, I, I like the modern, like, this is why I think Black Ops was, like, the perfect idea, but maybe not the perfect game, you know, like, ideas can be really, really good, but the final product can be kind of crappy. I'm not saying that Black Ops is crappy, because in my opinion, Black Ops, well, Black Ops is my favorite COD. 
Um, you know, out of all of them, Black Ops is definitely one of my favorites. Mainly because, and I know you're going to call me a noob for this or late, but it was actually my first Call, call of Duty, like, that I actually had. Um, mainly because I got my PS3 in 2010, actually. Yeah, winter 2010. Um, and I've had it for about a year now. Well, a little more than a year. Um, but, I, I don't know. Um, maybe that's kind of why I think Black Ops is, like, my favorite Call, call of Duty and probably always will be. But, it's... It, I don't know, I just don't really like a whole lot of change, as I've said before. Like, e everyone kind of, I guess, kind of was shocked when Call of Duty 4 came out, and then, you know, uh, it, it was a big change because it was modern and, and taking a break from the World War II aspect. And then, a year later, or about a year later, Treyarch takes over and kind of surprises people, or appalls people. Um, and maybe not, they, they kind of surprised people, maybe not in the best way. That kind of led people to sort of stay with Infinity Ward, I find. Because I know not a whole lot of people like Treyarch, um, or at least not compared to Infinity Ward. There's a lot, there's a, a, a shitload of Infinity Ward fanboys out there. Um, you know, but they talk crap about uh, Treyarch just because, I guess... My my guess. Oh, I, I sorry. I, I just I think that's the. Uh, oh no, it's not. But uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic. But uh, just a spoiler. I get a uh, across the map tomahawk in this. I'm not gonna follow it. I'm just gonna let it go. I think it, that I think that's the one. Um. But anyway, basically. Oh, it's not. Um. But yeah, I think this kind of led people to stay with Infinity War because they didn't really like the change because. Treyarch kind of switched it up and brought them back to the World War II aspect. I, the way I see it is they basically just said, "Oh, hey, look at us! We can, uh, you know, we're we're gonna come back with the same the same crap that you guys liked before, but make it better." Um, you know, it, it went with the Call of Duty 4 engine, which a lot of people liked, but. Uh, it was in the World War II aspect, and they just changed it up a bit. Uh, I, I have all of the Call of Duties from 4 and up. Uh, um, so basically all of the favorites, I'd say. Um, and I know there's going to be people out there saying, why don't you learn about what you're, what you're talking about first, you know? Because I don't know a whole lot about video games, it's just my opinion. Um, and I like to express my opinion, so if you don't like my opinion, then shut up and enjoy the video, I guess. Um, but yeah, and I know this is supposed to be about Black Ops 2, but we're just talking about change right now. Um, but yeah, I think it's the, the, uh, the gameplay's starting to wrap up here. Um, there might be a few more minutes. But, uh, yeah, it, I don't know, just... Give me a comment. Tell me what you guys think about the change. Tell me if you like it or if you hate it. Uh, or if you're even going to get Black Ops, dude. Because a lot of people were turned off by Black Ops. They kind of... Oh, wait, wait, yeah. Kill feed. Cross the map. I was like, what? What, what happened? <laughs> I, I actually didn't even know whether I got it at that point. I just kind of... After this, I kind of went into the theater and stuff. That was like my fourth or fifth... Uh, across the map. I'm, I'm not lucky, so. But, yeah, um. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't really talk a whole lot about Black Ops 2, but. Yeah, tell me what you think about the change. Tell me if you think it's gonna be good or not, and that's the end of the gameplay. So, yeah, um, when Black Ops 2 does come out, I'm definitely gonna get it. I'm probably gonna put up some gameplay. So, yeah, sorry about the crappy video, but peace.